Time and patience are always in short supply when it comes to home makeovers. So for the next half hour, we'll bring you only the eye candy. None of the in-between mess. None of those pesky facts and figures. Nothing but befores. There isn't anything I like about the bathroom. And afters. Wow, that is cool. See boring basements transformed into macho man caves. Lame family rooms turned into lavish living spaces. And kitchens old and awful are converted into kitchens new and chic. You give us 30 minutes, we'll give you, well, you get the concept by now. The transformation is ridiculous. So let's get started on 30 in 30. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. We begin in this kitchen, where a family wants to redo their 50s decor, but still want to keep the cool Elvis era vibe. First, we have to cure this checkerboard overload. That's a lot it's of work. It's a lot of work. But so worth it. Now the checkers go down to the floor where they belong, while vintage antiques and memorabilia go up. And a soda fountain bar completes their doo-wop diner design. Flash forward to the 70s. Come on, get the Partridge family's wallpaper pattern was right back then. He's right, Mom. But it's wrong today. Just look at this family's floor. In fact, this whole outdated kitchen desperately needs an aftershot. And here it is. Say bye-bye to the sitcom floors and yellow submarine walls, and hello to concrete, metal shelving, and laminate countertops. 70s geek turns into industrial chic. Number three also has a nasty linoleum floor. From the before to the after. That's three down, 27 to go. So let's hurry up and hit the bathroom. Oh, uh, no! It's, it's bad. You can say that again. It's, it's bad. Thanks, that's enough. This is the before and this is the after with badness removed and radness added. Here's another bathroom before. Cramped, narrow, and nasty. And after. Check it out. Wow. How bad is it? That's awesome. Yes, it is. Big, beautiful, and even lights up. Weird tub alert. Maybe back when they built this, the Y didn't offer swim lessons. It's just not very safe. Nope, but it is very ugly. And so is this, unless you're throwing play dates in the master bath. Time to create an amazing after. Nice. The tub's still plenty big, but it's strictly a mom and dad thing. Let's shift from bathroom rebuilds to bonus room renovations. Can you say big and cluttered? Big, cluttered, big, cluttered. But after the renovation, it's just big and... That is cool. <laughs> Dude, I was just totally gonna say that. Check out the indoor treehouse, leaves and all. That is one serious TV funhouse. And so is this. <laughs> These Star Trekkers are exploring the final frontier a spaced out hideout in a renovated attic. In other words, this is the after, and this was the before, a funky rectangular room that no one used. Now that formerly wasted space is a young astronaut training place. Are you keeping up as we count down the before and afters? Good, let's move outside for before number nine. Number nine, num, excuse me. Look at this super-sized mess. You call that a lawn? And this giant pool with nowhere to lounge. But after it all gets a blowout, it goes from hot mess to cool spot. What more can we say? Nothing. So we won't. At least not until we show you this. It's the after of another spectacular backyard. It's got that spa retreat vibe. Big boulders, mature trees, and six levels of decks and patios. 
but the before was a bore. See? Just a nasty brick and weed infested eyesore. But now I want to hang out there all weekend. Seriously, six levels. 30 and 30 continues after the break with 20 more before and after renovations. Like this floating fixer upper, man caves, mom caves, and car caves. It's like a man cave, but with cars. Yeah, we got that. Stick around for more 30 and 30. And while you wait, ponder this. Here's the before shot of a Pepto pink bathroom. But which is the after? Is it this, this, or this? No, seriously, which one? Check it out. <laughs>